What up guys, this is Wild Rocker here, and today I got another video for yo, and I apologize if I haven't been making any videos in probably about like a week or so, and that's because I have a new uh, guest family member, well not guest, but a family member in my family, and it's a little kitty, and um, it's so tiny, I can't really determine if it's a male or a female, so I'm just going to go with a female, because um, it's definitely got the attitude of one. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, it, it's really nice. Um, but anyways, uh, long story short. Uh, short, sorry. Uh, I always say stork. I don't know why. Um, it's like stork. Anyways, so long story, uh, story short, there we go. Uh, I went to hear a knock at the door, and I obviously went to go up and answer it, and um, yeah, nobody was there, and all I see is a box, and I just hear something like scratching at it. it wasn't me, Alan. Otherwise, obviously, I know it was a cat, right? Well, anyways, Open it up. Yeah, there's a little kitty inside. Someone abandoned this little cat, and I don't know why. And it's just a little, you know, innocent cat. So I decided to take it in and take it in for care, and I've had it for probably about a week or so now, and it's actually been really good, and it's named Spirit. So, yeah. Uh, apologize for you guys that have been watching. I know uh, a lot of people have been watching my uh, last video I made a week ago, and I appreciate uh, all the people that are watching, and thank you for watching, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Back to MK. This is one of the most requested uh, videos that I made so far. Um, a lot of people on Kick, Twitter, and uh, Facebook, definitely. All three of those uh, really want me to go on the topic about the online uh, community for MKX and the online servers. Now, I'm not really technical on the whole um, online community. Like, I don't know if it's even called a netcom or a net code I think it I think it might be a net com I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but anyways it's like the grid so to say of the online community um, I'm assuming now people want to ask me you know my opinions on this you know what, what can we do about it well when they say stuff like that then obviously we have a problem and as many of you have seen from the past MKs such as MK versus DC, MK Armageddon, um, MK9, the current one. Yeah, we've had a lot of fucking problems with the online community. Now, granted, okay, they have tried to fix it. And, you know, thank God, you know, I mean, it's, and they don't have to fix it either, okay? They chose to do it because they felt like it was necessary. Now, obviously, going through the whole, you know, aspect of making another game and working on, um, you know, this MKX that will be coming out. Obviously, they don't have time to actually, you know, deal with MK9, such as the servers or, you know, patches or updates or anything like that. So, that really angers me in a way, and a lot of people online as well, and a lot of people on my uh, Kick and Skype accounts. Because it's what they're pretty much, and they, I don't know if they know this or not, but majority of the people, and I'm not saying all, because some, most, you know, don't even notice the difference. Most might not even have online issues on MK9 or, you know, MKX or, or not MKX, <laughs> or MKDC uh, or anything like that. And for those of you that still don't think, you know, MKDC is, um, that people still play it. People still play it. Um, hardly, but they still play it. Um, and obviously for uh, MK Armageddon, for people that played on PS2. And I was just talking to this with a, a buddy of mine the other day, and uh, he didn't even know MK Armageddon had online. And I was like, yeah. He says, wasn't that for the PS2? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, he says, I didn't, I didn't know the PS2 had online. I'm like, wow. But anyways, I mean, it wasn't his fault or anything. It's just he didn't know, you know, so... Uh, which is no biggie. But anyways, so as for the servers and everything, a lot of people have been pretty much, you know, stating to me that the company of NRS is pretty much giving the fans the middle finger and saying, you know what, fuck it, we don't care. You know, we're on to this game now. And, you know, from a, I guess from a business point of view, that kind of actually makes sense, you know, from a business point of view. Now, actually giving a damn about your fans and the people that made you guys who you are now, yeah, that fucking angers a lot of fans because what you're pretty much doing is you're giving the middle finger to them by not finishing one game and moving on to another. I've had people comment and quote on, uh, on my account that they would say, um, or on my pages, that they would say, you know, it's like they're being half-assed and they're lazy and they're slacking off. Well, okay, I'm not, I can't say yes they are or no they're not. 
because I mean, you also got to put everything in perspective too. You got to look at the, you got to look at everything, every detail. Okay, making a game is not easy. Okay, making any game is not easy. It, 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 well, a good game, an average game even, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication and a lot of time and commitment, and you have to have a lot of patience with it too. And it's not something that you could just do in a day and then, you know, that's it. So I get the whole, you know, reason why they didn't have time to fix the online servers for MK9, but let's be real here. The reason we talk about MK9 servers is because we don't want this shit happening to MKX servers. Now, granted, a lot of people have told me as well on uh, Twitter that, you know, well, MK Armageddon was on PS2. Different server. Okay, alright. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with that. Now, MK versus DC and MK9 was on PS3 and uh, Xbox. Different servers. Okay, alright. And then now people are saying, you know, with MKX, they said more than likely we're going to have the same exact problems that we did in MKX for the PlayStation 4. Now, we don't know that yet because the game isn't out. But what we're hoping for is hopefully that we don't have to deal with the same shit that we have in the past. Now, as being a, um, a gamer for the Mortal Kombat Armageddon and, you know, MK vs. DC, which, oh my god, don't even get me started on that. And, uh, because you, you all know, you all know. Now, now, granted, granted, you know, I'm not dissing the people that did like it, but majority, you know, uh, well, uh, you know, some people did not really agree on that whole game in general. Not because it was, a, you know, a, a mix between two different, you know, genres, but, you know, just the whole graphics and gameplay-wise. But anyways, I, I'll quit talking about that. Um, so anyways, you know, as from playing Mortal Kombat Armageddon, as for the online issues, um, it really wasn't that bad back in its time. And you gotta remember, that was a long-ass time ago. Like, Jesus, uh, maybe a decade? Like, I mean, damn, it's been a while. And, uh, you know, and it's just really, it was really fine. And the community was great, and the text, whole text chat and everything, it was you know, pretty general. You know, it wasn't great, but, I mean, it was your, your average, you know, community uh, chat. It was, like, it was like a text chat, so to say. And um, and that, that's another topic I'll be talking about, too. And um, so it wasn't bad, you know. It was, it was pretty pretty good, pretty decent. As for the online issues, I mean, yeah, you lagged out maybe once or twice, usually, you know, in a day. But it really wasn't that bad. Now, you got to remember, okay, just because I lagged out maybe once or twice a day, that doesn't mean that another person or you have not lagged out, you know, from playing Mortal Kombat Armageddon. This, I mean, we could have totally, you know, two different whole, you know, theories on it. You know, you could say, oh, God, it was fucking terrible for me. Or, yeah, you're right, it wasn't that bad. Or we could have people that say, oh, I never lagged ever, you know, not even once. And I've even had people that said that on MK9 where they never lagged ever. Lucky bastards. Uh, but, you know, so it's all different, especially, you know, on location where you live, you know, power, source, you know, all that stuff. Internet connection, strength, you know, all that fun stuff. So we got to get technical as well. But the reason that I bring this issue up front is because not only am I having problems, which obviously I wouldn't just do it for me. I'm not selfish. It's majority of the people that play the game are having a problem. And when majority of the people are having the same exact problem as everyone else, then obviously there's something wrong. And that's what we got to fix. Now, as for MK versus DC for the PlayStation 3, um, it did, I ain't gonna lie, for me, it did lag out quite a bit. Now, it could have lagged out for, you know, some people and, you know, maybe not lag out for others. Now, as for MK9, uh, the current one, it has lagged out tremendously. Now, in the beginning, when the game first came out, I can totally understand why it would lag, because it was a brand new game, the servers were, you know, fresh, and running, you know, and everyone, you know, because being a new game, everyone wanted to be online and, you know, fight each other and do fatalities and stuff, which, you know, I'm, I'm guilty, I, you know, I want to play it too, and, um, you know, and just be online, so I can understand why in the beginning it was lagging horribly, that's, that's normal for me, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that's normal for everybody too, you know, that, you know, when you get a new game, you get online, it's gonna lag a little bit, you know, it's new, um, and a lot of people are on it. Now, as the years go by, because I'm pretty sure MK9 was in, made in 2011, and it's been quite some time since then. And it doesn't even feel like it, to be honest. It feels like it just came out, like, last, what, year? You know, it, it feels like that. Now, as for the online connections, they have been tremendously horrible. They are god-awful. 
And not only with these updates that they have tried to be fixing it, which I don't even know what the hell these updates did, to be honest. I don't know if they were patches. I don't know if they were just, you know, updates for the servers. It, it wasn't download content. We know that for a fact because we have not seen nothing new, obviously. Now, as for, you know, as for the online community, it's just, I mean, it's horrible. And I don't know if they realize this or not either since they've been working on this game ever since, uh, ever since MK9 was completed, so they say. Um, I don't know if a lot, uh, most of you will get online and play on there, but have you realized that the text chat does not work anymore? And I do not understand why that, that does not work. It has not worked ever since, God, at least two, uh, a year um, at most. I mean, uh, I mean, well, at least, I mean, it's gotta be a year. And you know, the, what people don't know about that is the text chat, you know, you could actually type in a message, you know, I challenge people, I actually ask them, Hey, you know, so-and-so you want to fight or talk shit or, you know, anything, you know, and if NRS did this and they took that off, I think that's really wrong and ridiculous because even, okay, let's say they took it off because people were talking so much shit to each other. Okay, look, I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, ruling that uh, we should all say fuck you to one another. You know, that's, that's not me. But the fact, and I'm just saying that if NRS did this, the fact that they took it away, or if they took it away, sorry, it, and because of this reason, then that's fucking ridiculous because that's really taking your freedom of speech away, you know, on a game. And it's it's just stupid. It's dumb. You know, people talk shit to each other on any game. It doesn't matter. In real life, it doesn't matter. You know, people are always going to talk shit. And if that's the reason that they took it off, if they even took it off, then that's ridiculous. Now, if a hacker or, you know, someone like that did it and... NRS has been known about it and still has not done anything, that's ridiculous. That's fucking stupid because they shouldn't be working on another game when this current one is still having problems, you know? And they they don't expect, you know, hackers to fuck up some shit, you know? <laughs> Look at Call of Duty. Look at any of the Call of Duties, you know? I mean, I'm just saying, you know? They're going to be out there, okay? And they should have some so type of security to prevent that, you know, I'm not saying they should put it, put the whole fucking game on lockdown. I'm just saying that they should be aware that this shit's going on, and I'm pretty sure that they have no acknowledgement that it's even happening. And even if they are, or let's say they do know, okay, that that just frustrates a lot, a lot of people because they, it, they even though they know the situation, they still don't care. They're too busy worrying about the other game. And that's, that's just pathetic because from the fans' point of view, they think all they care about is money. Now, yeah, they kind of do from a business point of view. I get that. But the thing is, is that the fans are what made you what you are now. They're the ones that bought your copies. They're the ones that bought your games. You know? If it wasn't for the fans and the people, you, people would, they wouldn't be nothing. It's true. And that's with anything. And it's just so ridiculous that even if they, let's say they did and didn't acknowledge the fact that they knew about this situation with the online of MK9. If they didn't, okay, someone needs to notify them now. We need to blow up Ed Boon's Twitter account as much as we can and let him know that we want better servers, like ASAP. And hopefully they will be better on the PlayStation 4 console than the PlayStation 3. Now, let's say they already knew about the situation. Okay, why aren't the fuck they doing anything? Oh yeah, that's right. They're working on a game that's gonna be half-assed anyway, right? No, it's it's ridiculous. You know, it's I just I just can't believe it. it. It's frustrating. It really is because you know people want, and it's not just for me. I really couldn't give a shit about me to be honest. <laughs> but it's about the people, you know. And the people deserve better. They don't want to play this half-ass shit. You know, they're ready to play and game it up all night long. You know, whether it be young adults that have been there since you know MK1 or newcomers to Mortal Kombat, or any deal, you know, people that never even played the game before and want to get interested in Mortal Kombat. They all get online, and then after, what, maybe one or two games, they start to lag out because of their online connection service? That's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. But, you know, I'm running out of time here, so um, I got lots more to talk about uh, about the situation because it was one of the most popular and most, like, hot topic situations on my Twitter account and on my Facebook. Um, so I would definitely be making a part two of this, definitely. 
Um, if you guys want to uh, have more, you know, just drop a like, drop a uh, comment, and please subscribe. And uh, thank you all for watching my uh, last video. I really do appreciate all you people watching, and I see that you know a lot of people agree with the whole situation. So you know, I mean, I'm I'm not making this shit up. So, anyways, part two coming soon, right about now.